Welcome back, everybody, to Dyson Sphere Program and our Polaris series here on YouTube. We are standing on the planet where we're having all of our processors made, and we need to figure out how to make some more microcrystalline components because that is something that we are currently, as it stands right now, we are not producing enough to keep up with consumption. We aren't, we aren't missing the mark by much. We do need to take care of that. We need to go and get some more uh, look around at our Kochab 2, Polaris 4, which is our home planet. And then finally, we need to go around the rest of the universe and get the deuterium fuel rods decommissioned so that we are not using those any longer for, as a power source. But first of all, we do need to take care of this because you notice this is slowly but surely decreasing. Not by much, but we just need to add, I think, a few more microcrystalline components here. This is our... This is our this is our ginormous, ginormous microcrystalline component uh, factory here. On uh, what planet are we on right now? We're on Polaris One. Yeah, Polaris One. Let's see. Where could we add some more microcrystalline components? Because we have plenty of materials for them. See, we got we got copper and uh, copper and the um, the high purity silicon here for them. I guess we could. Mineral depleted. Hmm. Hmm. I could bring. I could bring the lines. Let's see. I do need. I do need to bring. Get some more of these. Get some more belts out. I could bring the lines out this way. I suppose. Let's raise the line up one. We'll bring it down here like that. And then I think we can do the same thing with this one here. High purity silicon. We can raise that up one. And then we can bring it down here as well. It's going to be kind of a weird line we have going here, but that's okay. Is that line like on a hill? Why does that line look crooked? That is bothering me like crazy. That bothers me so flippin' much. Okay, let's uh let's get rid of this here. Why is that why is that crooked like that? Insufficient materials. That is so weird. It just looks it looks crooked. I gotta get rid of all these uh, copper out of my inventory. Okay, there we go. Like Got rid of all the copper. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to go ahead and bring some more processing over here. So we're gonna copy, copy and paste this here. So that's gonna bring it in. And then we just have to figure a figure an output line, which can go like here. And then can just go right back into there. Oh, that'll work perfect. Okay. And then we just have to put the output over here. Output. There we go. Boop. All right. Let's go ahead and build this line down a little bit further here. Nope. Not that, not that line. There we go. Get that going a little bit further. This should hopefully take care of the problems that we have. Oh, I do need a little bit of power right there. Boop. All right, so that should start getting these to go up. Yes, there we go. Okay, we're filling it back up now. Excellent. And if you look here, this is the last 10 minutes. If you look at the last minute, yeah, now we're producing 3,300. We're consuming 31. So we're, we are we are on the right path. I like that. Okay, so microcrystalline components are taken care of. Light mode. Let's go ahead and just take a little quick survey of this planet here. And let's make sure we have no incursions going on on this planet. Let's 
the Polaris 2 real quick. Nothing going on there. Let's head back to Polaris 4 real quick. I'm going to go to Polaris 4 and uh, just check in on that planet. See how we're doing. This all started because we were having problems with the processors because we were using so many more processors and we just weren't keeping up. And then we had to reconfigure our entire production line there. Now, this is our home planet, boys and girls. This is our, this is our home planet. It's got a lot of stuff happening here. Oh, wow. We are... Uh... Okay, so those two are filling up, but this one over here is not. That's okay though. We're we're still produ we're still producing tons of technology. Those all three of those are going like gangbusters. I wonder if we, I wonder if we could put in another tower of light. I bet we could. You know, we should do that. Uh, let's move that. That's under defense. Put a shield tower right here. That basically lets our rockets get stuff from any any area. And then what we can minerals do... Depleted. Oh, I know. Minerals depleted. That's fine. The minerals are getting depleted everywhere. Alright, so what we could do is we could build ourselves another... I forget how many it is. It's like 16 or, it's like 16 or 17 of them that we can stack now. All right, so we need a little bit of iron. We need a little bit of glass, some computer chips, and some magnetic rings or magnetic, magnetic coils. We got computer chips right over here. There's my computer chips. And then we can go ahead and we can build these. I don't need 40 of them. I need like, that's three, six, nine, 12. Let's do 15. I don't, I don't think we need 15, but we can do like 15 of them. And then we just have to figure out how to draw these lines out here. So All right, that's as many as we can put. Oh, was fifty? Was fifteen it? Did I actually get? Did I actually get that right? It was actually fifteen. Okay, cool. And then we can just go ahead and bring these lines over and hook it up. That's the long one, that's the short one, and this one is the output, and then we do need to bring some of that in there too. Okay, and then if we just copy and paste this, oh, it won't let us copy and paste it now, gosh dang it. All right, now it'll let us copy and paste it, I bet. Yeah, look at that. There we go. That made it easy. All right. So there's another tower pumping out some white uh, cubes. The universal matrices, I believe they're called. And that should help get this third tower powered. Because the third tower, unfortunately, has these white cubes just kind of like they're getting eaten up by this tower, so there's not as many to get to this tower. But that's okay. All right, let's see how we're doing here with the... Okay, it looks like the rockets are doing fine now. We even have a little backup, maybe. Yeah, we got a little backup of them going on. Dyson Sphere Components, that remains our issue. Dyson Sphere Components remain our issue. Where do we, where do we have the Dyson Sphere Components? Um, let's see. Mineral depleted. 
Um, production, no, Dyson Sphere components. I don't think we're, I don't think we have Dyson Sphere components producing here at all. No, that's Kochob 2, I believe, that has those producing on it. So we need to fly, we need to fly to Kochob 2. Let's see, where's Kerr? There's Curb. There's Kochob, okay. Let's look at Kochob here. Kochob 2, I believe, is where we have those being made. So that's where we're going to head to next and see if we can get these Dyson Sphere components figured out. Because that's our next, that's sort of our next little thing. Because we need the Dyson Sphere components to make the rockets that will then make our Dyson Sphere be able to be constructed. Because without those, we don't have a Dyson Sphere. There's two things you need for a Dyson Sphere. Lots of, uh, lots of rockets and lots of, uh, lots of, uh, uh solar sails. And lots of patience. Warp engine deactivated. All right, here's our Dyson Sphere. Here's our, here's our Dyson Sphere components. All right, what's not being fed here? All right, we don't have processor chips down here yet. Well, that sucks. Is it just a lack of processor chips coming in? Let's see, where are the processor chips coming in from? There's plenty of processor chips here. Wait a second. Oh, they're coming in from down here. Oh, so they just aren't feeding in quick enough. Oh yeah, so there we go. So we don't have processor chips here. Okay, we got some of those coming in. Let's do minimum load of vessels 50%. That just means that they can get stuff in and out faster. And I have no photon combiners here either. Oh, they're basically just zipping through there as fast as they can. Just to keep up with the uh just to keep up with the solar sails. That might mean that I need to get more photon combiners going on. Okay, what's up here? Okay, we got plenty of graphene. That's always a good thing. Oh, and this is where we set up our deuterium, our deuterium factory as well. That's hydrogen. That's oh wow, the deuterium is like flowing out of there. That is awesome. We have so much deuterium now. Where before deuterium was an issue, and now it's not any longer. Okay, it looks like this has become, this is all stopped here. We got a full stop on this because the deuterium here is all, is all backed up, but that's okay, I'll take it. That means that we have more deuterium than we know what to do with, which I'm totally okay with. This one over here is still running nice and neatly though. That's interesting. Maybe, oh, you know what I bet we have to do? I bet we have to have this feeding into there. And then maybe have it feed out from here as well. Yeah, let's have let's feed it out of here as well. We'll make this one. Oh, which which is it? Mineral depleted. Uh, deuterium is the. Deuterium has the two. Okay, I was like, wait a second. It's been a while. There we go. That'll allow the deuterium to uh, flow. And it will slowly make it so this this whole system starts running again. Because right now it can't run. See, it's slowly catching up. It's clearing it out now. There we go. Now the whole system can start functioning again. That was totally on me. That was totally my fault.
All right, I'm not gonna worry about those. I'm gonna add some deuterium into this over here. So that's flowing into there. We're gonna add a little more storage here. It's kind of a, it's kind of a circular storage uh, system here that we got going on. One feeds into one, that feeds into that, that'll feed back into there. Eventually this will get all full, but that's okay. Let me get rid of those rocks there. Oh, this path here needs to be switched. Um, can I get to it though? There we go. Reverse that path. There we go. I was like, wait a second, what's going on there? Why is it not mineral? Why is it not feeding in like I want it to? Yeah, because these are gonna get completely stuffed full here eventually. Everything eventually needs to feed into here. No, oh, that's going the right way. And then this is also feeding around and into there. Okay, perfect. I like I like how it's doing it. Okay, let's check on the uh, let's check on this here. We should start seeing a good supply of. Oh, okay. So the processors are starting to catch up now. That is good. That was our whole goal is to get the processors working because our processor facility was dead. And it wasn't doing what it needed to do. And that should start getting Dyson Sphere components sent out. And we do have this set, so it only has to do 50%. Um, I'm actually going to pump this up a little bit to like 120 power. Because that just re that just chained that up. Mineral depleted. That basically, that basically makes this, this, this whole thing work better. So we're just going to pump that up. Um, okay, so are we making enough of these right now? Or do we need to make more... I think we might need to make more of the photon combiners because we are not it's not backing up in there at all which means that they aren't getting sent out in large stacks which kind of is annoying so let's bring this over here It's always like we need more stuff. We need more stuff and more stuff and more stuff. Oh, and we need power for all that. Boop, there you go. Have some power, buddy. So that is all proliferated there. It looks like we have enough of these coming out that it's keeping up. Barely. Is it keeping up over here, though? Yeah, see, we don't have photon combiners for these final ones over here. These ones are not getting enough photon combiners, so we definitely need more photon combiners being made. Yeah, that's a problem. It's a problem right there, I tell you. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of these mining machines. And get rid of that, and that, and that. Okay. Cause yeah, we are gonna we are gonna mine this the old ar archaic way anymore. Okay, so that's got that's got a ton of crystals on it. I'm just trying to find ones that I can dump those into. There we go. Excellent. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and put that stuff in there. Oh, do I have a bunch of hydrogen on me? Oh, I got a bunch of hydrogen on me. How did I get all that hydrogen and deuterium on me? Okay, I must have I must have taken it when I took a couple of things here. All right, let's get the deuterium. Let's see, there's the deuterium there. We'll put that in there. And there's the hydrogen. And we'll put that into here. There we go. Grab our iron, put that away. Grab the glass and put it away. Grab our those and put that away. Okay, perfect. We even got some deuterium. We even got some fuel rods on us. Um, I think I can just turn this uh, this stone that I have straight into glass, can I? Yeah. There we go. That that'll basically consume all that stone that we had. And then I'll and then I'll just make some iron as well. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and get the. Oh, nice. Station, station Integrated Logistics 3. Plus one integration count from logistics stations. Carry cargo integration capacity of planetary and interstellar stations is increased. The integration count of outgoing cargo is now configured. Okay, so if we go in here, we can now see they can stack up to four outgoing now. Oh, and look at that. The, the Those are definitely caught up now. So it's basically stacking a ton of this stuff as it goes out. It's stacking it at like eights now. Which is just great. Unfortunately, these are not stacking very good because we don't have enough uh, enough of those coming being made right now. So we need to make a few more of these. So the moral of the story here is that when you get that stacking logistics in your in ability, you want to stack as much stuff as you possibly can into. You want to have your outputs coming out of interstellar and planetary logistics centers because it automatically stacks the items in stacks of four or five or eight, which means that you get more stuff down the line. See, these are coming out at eights now. So there's eight, there's eight of these crystals in every single stack that's coming out, which means they can get down the line a lot further, even if the machine is eating it up pretty quickly. All right, so we're gonna put that there. I don't know how far to make these. Okay, let's do that. Let's get a production. Silly, I'm gonna basically just make these on this side over here. We'll copy the, the recipe. We're gonna make the output. No. That's not what I wanted. I want the output to go to the line. There we go. And then we need to bring this Replication complete. We're going to bring this down. Uh, we'll hit R. R straightens the line out. Then we can hit R again, and it will just, like, curve the line there like that. There we go. And then we can put the inputs... And then we can just extend this line down a little bit further. Boop, 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 boop. It does that little dog ear every once in a while. And then we can just bring this and go boop, 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 and build a whole bunch more of those. Oh, and then we do need a little bit of power here. We'll just do that. That should take care of it. I don't need a big power tower there. I'm just gonna build I'm just gonna overbuild a little bit here. I know I probably don't need this many, but that will probably keep us good and it'll probably start building up a few in here too once those once those all get humming. Because our main problem right now is that these back end Oh, they got they got them down here now. Yeah, they're but they're barely getting them. See how they're slowly coming down here. But we are starting to back up a little bit, so I think we got the photon combiners figured out now. And it looks like these lines are all humming along fine with deuterium. It will eventually fill this thing up, and we are still sending uh, deuterium off planet, so that's that's a thing. 
I'm gonna set those to half loads. That way they, the minimum load of the vessel can be 50%. It doesn't have to be full, which will help get stuff off the planet quicker as well. All right, so this planet is good to go. What other planets do we have in this system that need to be checked on? Um, all right, we got the Kochab system. We got Kochab 2. So that's the only planet that we did anything on was Kochab 2. We have not done anything with Kochab 1 or 3. What's Kochab 1 have on it? It's a Gobi planet. There's no collection planned on it. And what about Kochab 3? So there's not a lot on that planet. So really the Kochab system, I think the only reason we came here is because there was a lot of grading crystal on it. Yeah, there's 9 million grading crystal left on this planet. And that's why we set this up like, like we did. Now, I think I will set up local demand remote supply. All right. And how's our power doing on this planet? Because we did add a bunch of... We did add a bunch of past stuff here. Oh, uh, we could probably use one more artificial sun. It's it's kind of... It's kind of on the... It's kind of on the dwindling side, so we could probably use another artificial sun. Oh, I don't have I don't have any artificial suns on me. Uh, there we go. Yeah, see our power kind of fluctuated there for a moment. That should hopefully get our power. Yeah, our power is our power is basically <laughs> right where it needs to be. We got 1.3 gigawatts being produced, and we got 1.29 being consumed. Um, oh, and that does not have power to it right now. Let's put a little Tesla tower right here by it. Uh, that was bad. And what's this got going on in it? Okay, so this is this is done. I can take these out of here, and I can deconstruct that. I think that was just there as a as a a holder for what we needed. We didn't really need it there, but it was just there to hold hold stuff in place. This will allow us. I just I just want to be sure on our power here. Yeah, because our power fluctuated a little bit again there. Yeah, so we're just gonna we're just gonna throw three more down just to make it make it good. There we go. It pumps us up over 1.52, and now we we have plenty of power here again. So, excelente. Oh, and that's actually building up a few photon combiners. Very nice. And it looks like processors continue to flow in. It looks like Dyson Sphere components are continuing to do well as well. All right. So the code shop system, we can kind of check off the list. We did that. Now let's see, are there any more, uh, what is that seed? That seed is going to my system there. I don't like that seed going to my system because that's my system that I like. And there's seeds over here as well. That's going to beta lupi. I don't think I care about beta. Do I care about beta lupi? Beta loopy? Oh, you got stalagmite crystals there. Did I, did I do something with, uh, did I, oh yeah, I, I think I did. Look at all those 44 million stalagmite crystals. Oh, and we got 44 million planned. Okay, so, yeah, Beta Loopy 1, oh, that's, that, that's the Aquatica world, oh, yeah, that's where all of our stalagmite crystals are, that's an Aquatic world that has, uh, that has oil, tons of oil, and tons of, uh, stalagmites on it stalagmite crystals doesn't have much else i think i think we actually have all i think we have collected yeah we have all the all the crude oil or the coal and stalagmites all yeah we have that all uh all uh taken care of there so 
yeah, we do want to protect that system. So I think we need to go kill the seed that's coming for that system. That one still has 31 light years to go. This one only has 18 light years to go. I don't see any other seeds out there, though, so that's good. I say we target that seed and go take it out. We're 17 light years away from that seed. It should be pretty easy for us to take it out. And then we'll continue our our round of going to all of our planets, figuring out if they got deuterium rods on them or not that are powering them, and then discontinuing those deuterium fuel rods and just upgrading it to either uh, uh, upgrading it basically to the suns that we have now. But well, we're going to do that next time, boys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this one, don't forget to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time for more Dyson Sphere program in the Dark Fog Polaris series.